everybody Let's have some fun tonight Turn up the flame Yeah, let's do this right Bring on the simmer Give it a little drizzle There'll be no fizzle in our sizzle Honey, let's add a little dash of spice Oh yeah, baby, it's gonna taste so nice All that I'm knowing is the flavors will be exploding Let's get cooking, oh let's get cooking making a Sunday sauce. I'm gonna have my golf buddies over, I'm gonna have a little bit of wine, Chianti, one of my favorites. We're gonna have some rigatonis, we're gonna have some laughs. So I hope you all enjoy. Let's get cooking! All right, now we're gonna start our sauce. I got this uh, meat I just picked up at the butcher shop and uh, we're gonna season it up nice with a little salt and pepper. I got this uh, Beef short ribs, which look really nice. It adds a nice flavor to the sauce. And I got these nice country ribs that I saw in a butcher shop. Look really nice. So I got them. We got the Italian sweet sausage. And uh, I'm going to season it up nice. And uh, you don't have to use these meats that I use. You can use your meat of choice. You can use pork chops. You can use ribs. You can use brajol. Sometimes I use brajol. I love brajol. But uh, today we're making it this way. All right, now we got them seasoned up. I'm going to take these over to the stove. I got the pan heated up. Put some olive oil in it. Brown them up nice. And All right, I got my pan heated up. And uh, I'm going to add some olive oil. I like to get the pan heated up first before I put the olive oil in. And um, that helps that the meat won't stick. And then we're going to brown the meat. And wait for it to heat up a little bit more. And then we're going to start browning the meat. I'm going to start off now with, um, we're going to let it heat up a little bit more, and here we go. We're going to start putting the short ribs in. We want to brown them nice on both sides. We want to build a nice sear on it. We want to put a nice sear on it and build them up on both sides. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. So I'm just going to do the short ribs first. And you're going to let them sit there. You don't want to keep moving them. You want to make put a nice sear on them. And uh, we're going to do that with all the meat. All right, the meat's been in here for about two or three minutes. And now we're going to start turning them over. See how we created a nice sear on that side? I'm going to get that to turn over. We're going to try to do it on the other side. I can turn it over. I'm going to turn them all over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Try not to do it like I did. Turn them over nice and easy. Right, the meat's ready. It's been cooking for another two or three minutes. I'm going to take it out. And put it in the pan, and now we're gonna put this in, put the uh, pork in. But before that, I want you to look in the bottom of the pan. I mean, this stuff on the bottom of the pan, that, all that stuff on the bottom of the pan, that's what we call flavor. How you doing? Sure. Now I'm gonna add my country ribs in. I'm gonna sear them off, and we're not gonna do the sausage at the same time because we don't want to crowd the pan. But that is, uh, this is what we're doing. We're building flavors. 
We're building flavor with all the meat, and then we're gonna deglaze it. It's gonna be real nice. Look. All right, now we're ready to turn over our country ribs. Oh, they look good. See all that? We're building that up. That's flavor. How you doing? That's all right, we're gonna take the uh, country ribs out. Look really nice. Look at that nice seal we got on it. Beautiful. Really nice. Now we're gonna put our sausage in. How you doing? Get this sausage in there. Brown this up good. And here we go. And what we're doing here is we're building flavor. That's all it is. That's what the Sunday sauce is about. Building flavor. Alright, while I got the sausage over there browning up, I'm going to start cutting up my garlic and my onion. Uh, I slice my garlic. I like it sliced because when you mince it, it has a tendency to burn. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slice it. I slice it thin like this. And that's it. We're going to put about six, seven cloves of garlic and we cut them up like this. Nice and thin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our onion. We're going to give it a rough chop. You hear that sausage over there? Browning up nice over there. Browning up on the stove. We give this a nice little rough chop. We use one large Spanish onion in the sauce. It's a rough chop, nothing fancy. We'll get all this out of there. Now let's go back and turn the sauce. How you doing? All right, now look at this. The sauce looks great. I wish you guys could smell it. I'm gonna take it out now. I'm gonna put it out here. And then I'm gonna throw, try to keep it in the pan. Don't be like me and throw it all over the place. I'll try to do it over here because uh, I don't want to burn the camera, man. But anyway, he's taking some great shots here. And uh, how you doing? And uh, now, what we're going to do is, we're going to throw our we're gonna throw our garlic in first. Add the garlic. Look at all that flavor on the bottom. We call that a fond. Alright, we're going to let the garlic cook down a little bit. Until it cooks a little bit, we don't want to let it burn. And then we're going to throw our onions in. We want to cook that down. Alright, while we got the uh, garlic and the onions cooking, we're going to season it a little bit with some salt and pepper and a little bit of crushed red pepper, a little crushed red pepper, a little pe black pepper, and a little salt. And here you go, here you go. We're going to let that cook down. See how it's getting nice and caramelized? We're going to keep letting it cook for another three or four minutes. All right, the onions are almost ready. I just want to season them a little bit with a little fresh Italian parsley and some fresh basil and we'll let it cook for another two minutes then we're going to glaze it with a little Chianti right now we're going to deglaze our pan with some nice Chianti there you go let that get in there nice let that cook down a little bit we're going to put our meat back in there Let that cook for a few minutes, and then we're going to add our sauce. All right, now we're going to prepare our tomatoes for our sauce. And I'm using Italian peeled tomatoes. They're imported. And I'm going to blend them up first uh, before I put them in the sauce. Uh, you can crush them by hand if you want. I want a little smoother texture, uh, smoother consist consistency, uh, and that's why I'm blending it up. You don't have to uh, blend them for that long. Pour that in the bowl, like that. Nice little smooth consistency. This up. All right, I got the uh, sauce blended, the tomatoes blended. I'm gonna pour right in. That was four cans, 35 ounce cans of uh, tomatoes, Italian peeled tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick stir, and we're gonna let it come up to a boil. Then I'm gonna simmer it. We're gonna go and prepare our meatballs now.
All right, now we're ready to make the world famous Marone de Thai meatballs. How you doing? We got salt, pepper, parsley, basil, Italian style breadcrumbs, pecorino romano cheese, pomodoro sauce, two eggs, and the star of the show, pork, veal, and beef. Now the way we start this is we whip up our eggs. We want to get that in there nice. And then we pour that in. We get a little bit of fresh Italian parsley, some basil, some pecorino romano cheese, some uh, Italian style breadcrumbs, and then I put pomodoro sauce in there. This is something I came up with years ago, fooling around with the meatball recipe. It's really good. And when I put this in here, I don't have to put fresh garlic or I don't have to put any onions in here because it's already in the sauce and it's already cooked. So what we do is then we roll up our sleeves, we don't get dirty, and we start mixing it up. And naturally I wash my hands first before I did this. And then after I get this mixed up, I got the two other meatballs in the other room. They're going to help me roll the meatballs, my golf buddies, Danny and uh, Ralphie Boy. And then we're going to put them to work. All right, now I finished preparing my uh, world-famous meatballs. Now I'm going to introduce you to two uh, of my other meatballs, my uh, golfing buddies, uh, Danny and Ralphie. Hey, Patty, how are you? Hey. How are you? Now, you guys are going to help me. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> you guys going to uh, help me roll the meatballs today, and then we're going to have yeah, a nice dinner. Place. We're going to have a nice dinner place. tonight. Right? I got my hands ready. All right, get your hands right, ready. We, we washed our ready. hands, like right. you said, we right. washed our hands. So, we're going to take the meatballs <laughs> like this. Show us what to do. We're going to roll them. Do you like roll clockwise or counterclockwise? Listen, just stop being a wise ass. We roll them not too tight, you know, not too tight. You roll them like this, you know, like that. You've got nice hands, you know? Yeah. You're going to be nice when I choke you with them. <laughs> you right. want, you want, a, you want a little bigger than a golf right. ball, right? A little bigger. Yeah, a little bigger than a golf ball. No, no pun intended. Between a golf ball and a, and a, and a baseball, right? Right. See, I have, I have, I have the skinny, the, the very thin okay. hands. Not too tight. How you That's like? good. Good size like that. Now, how do, what do you guys, we're making a Sunday sauce it's today. What, nice. do, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys call it? What do you guys call it? I call it sauce. What do you call it? No, you know, I, so, sauce we, is great. I grew up sauce. Well, my, I, my, I'm, from, my I'm from Northern Italy and I think <laughs> that it's, it's gravy. It's gravy? Yeah, All it's right. gravy. Gravy. It's more aristocratic. It's, it's a very right. intelligent way of saying it. Now, my, my cousin, some of my cousins say gravy on one side, the other side says sauce. Well, I'll tell you, it, uh, it depends on the taste now. Uh, did, did you, what, what did you use? Did you use a combination of veal and stuff in this? I used pork, veal, and beef. Ah, yeah, okay. And what kind of other seasons did you anything? I you? used uh, a little bit of uh, pomodoro sauce, pecorino romano cheese, okay. Italian flavored breadcrumbs, uh, basil, parsley, salt, pepper, you know. You know, this is, uh, they feel very soft. Very good. Yeah. Are they going to eat this way too, you think? Well, sometimes the meatballs get tough as you're being. Are, are you talking about, what are you talking about, the, the soft? What is soft? Well, in it, 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 your palate, when it touches your tongue. They're going to be fried. They're going to get nice in there. Can I sneak a fried one in my mouth? Of course you can. Did you used to do this? I'll make sure I give you. Oh, yeah. Golly knows what we used to do. I'll make sure I give you a raw one. We used to pick the, 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 the meat that was raw. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's right. it's delicious. delicious. Nobody ever got sick then. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Today the they'll sh kill you, right? The smell used to wake me up in the morning. <laughs> I used to go to bed, roll it, <laughs> sneak down the stairs. Sneak down the stairs, right? Oh, it was delicious. My mother used to turn her head, but used, we used to eat the meat raw. Imagine we, that. <laughs> well, my brother, well, my brother used to distract her. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's it, right? Yeah. I grab it, you know what I mean? You know. One time my mother called me, she'd go ahead with the school of Boston. Listen to Ralphie. What's that? No, so one time my mother called me, she'd be over the head with the school of Boston. <laughs> she was she, she was pretty fast for a big lady. <laughs> you know something? It's, yeah. nice, it's nice to have a mother. Yeah, good, yeah, good yeah, memories. Yeah, yeah. My mother's sauce was, was, it was par excellence, you know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 I hope guess yours yeah. measures up to the standards of my mother. Are well, you guys going to try it later? I will see. We'll, we'll try it a little bit. Well, well, sure well. and, uh, what kind of pasta? He's never proved us wrong. I'm going to use uh, rigatoni's because when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I used to always look forward to having rigatoni's Rig on Sunday. My grandmother's rigatoni. Yeah. Did yeah. you yeah. put rigatoni, carrots right? in the sauce too? No, I didn't put no carrots. See, my mother used carrots to sweeten the effect. I put sugar. You put sugar? You can't do that because it's not natural. Well, I just did. It's not <laughs> I just did not touch it. What do you mean Clemenza did in the Godfather? <laughs> my, my, my mother's upstairs with Jesus right now. She's making a sauce with the carrots. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? She can do whatever she wants now. Jesus was... Did I tell you what my mother said to Jesus when she walked up to the Golden Gates? No, you didn't tell she me. She said, what are you, tired of eating monsters? <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. There you have it. The uh, two golfing meatballs. It's meatball buddy. It's a pleasure. Thank you guys. I really Thank appreciate you, it. Well done. Uh, I shake your hand, but uh, yeah, yeah, full of meatballs. But thanks a lot. Great job. You did a great job of rolling. Uh, oh, we did good. This one okay. was a little bit. 
All right, we got our sauce up to a little bit of a boil. Now we're gonna season it. Put a little fresh parsley. A little fresh basil that we chiffonaded before. Some salt. Some sugar. I like to put sugar in here. Uh, sweetens it up a little bit. I like a sweeter type sauce. And a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna turn it down. All right, we just finished rolling the meatballs. We got the sauce simmering, and now we're gonna get ready to fry it. I got um, oil on uh, medium high heat, and it's uh, bouncing around. I had a little water in the pan, I guess. We're gonna fry them off now, nice. I don't know why it's bumped down so much. Here we go, ready for action. I'm going to brown these off nice. Uh, if you want, you can cook these in the oven. A lot of people bake them off. Uh, my grandmother, when I was a kid, she used to just throw them right in the sauce. A lot of people throw them right in the sauce. My mother did too. So there's many different ways. So we're not going to crowd the pan that much. I'm going to let these brown on each side. I'm going to turn them over. We're going to take them out and we're going to put the other batch in. All right, our meatballs are just about ready. I already threw some in the sauce. And throw some more in the sauce now. I'm gonna let them cook in the sauce now. I'm gonna take these out. Just drop them in there like that. And maybe we'll save a few on the side for uh, if anybody wants them just fried. We'll mix them around in there. Try to be gentle so they don't break up. Let this cook for maybe another uh, hour, put our pasta up and serve it. I, I, you, you, we're waiting for this. We're gonna have it together. You're like a gabon. I couldn't help myself, Patty. I mean, come on, you're man. Wrong. It was like, well, whatever, whatever, it was like whatever. My, my mother made it. I, I couldn't help myself. Come on, man. We, we're gonna, gonna have it together here. It's delicious. I, you know, you I, like I, it? Oh, I can give you a kiss for that. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Finally, the sauce is almost ready. It's been cooking for about three hours. I'm gonna give it a little taste. I'm gonna see how we're gonna season it. If it needs any more seasoning. Alright, I'm going to season a little bit, I'm going to put a little, like, little pepper in there, a little pepper. Maybe give it a little fresh parsley, a little basil, and it needs a little bit more salt. And we're going to salt the pasta water a little bit, season the pasta with a little salt. And then we're going to stir it up, and look at this. Oh. Man, look at this. Oh my god. And uh, the guy's been picking on it. As we've seen, we caught Danny picking on it. Everything looks good, smells good. And we're almost ready for action. How you doing? Okay, now we're ready to uh, ready to eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this. We're going to put this in here in the plate. Some sausage. Some meatballs. Mm, look at that. Nice, huh? Sausage, meatballs, and the country ribs. If I can get it in the plate. And then, get some neck bones. I guess they fell off already. I'm going to get that for the table. What we're going to do is, we're going to take some sauce in here. Take the pasta, which is ready. You want to take it right from the pot into the sauce. And we're going to toss it around. Try to keep it in the plate. And 
I'm going to let it cook for a few minutes because we want to absorb all the sauce into the pasta. Okay, now the pasta is ready. Absorb the sauce up nice. Looks real good. And uh, that's it. We plate it. Shut the gas off. Wipe the thing. Take a little fresh pecorino. You can use Parmesan if you want. I like pecorino. I'm gonna move from it. I do like Parmesan, but I like pecorino too. And there we go. A little fresh basil. And there it is. Okay, it's a toast. All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, the the, uh, the commencement of a beautiful golf season ahead for us. This is the way to start it off. A little pasta with uh, the best of friends. Okay. Patty, thank you very much for your expertise thank here. Thank you for coming Stevie, over. Stevie, the best for your camera, camera work. Uh, Ralphie, for your accents. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank okay. You. All right. Uh, salute, cheers. Guys. Salute, everybody. Salute. 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 Oh. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. Mm. The taste test. Oh. Yes, the taste test. How's it going, Mr. Santini? You enjoying it? Perfect al dente, I'll tell you. It's, this is better than going to women right now. All right. <laughs> Go to women. Mm. That's good. Going to women. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm, delicious. Good. Nice crater. Steve Arino. Oh. A nice light sauce. All right. How's that uh, short rib? Give us a little taste on that short rib. Oh, mm. my. Oh. Look at Telly. You got to look at Telly Romano, my favorite oh, cheese. Oh, look at that. Just, oh, just falling apart. Mm -mm. Oh, the neck bone. Wow. <laughs> mm. Oh, good. Mm. Mr. Oh, Kuzman. Perfect. Delicious, man. Delicious. Thank you. I close my eyes. I think my mother made this. That's Thank how good you, it is. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. You know? Oh. The meatballs, the way they were, they were rolled, make the difference. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys did a great job. But, you know, the sauce, the, the meatballs blended with the sauce and picked up all the sauce flavors. In the beginning, I thought the, the meatballs were a little flat, but it, it round, the sauce rounded the whole thing out. And the texture of the meatballs are fantastic. They really are. My compliments, sir. Takes if, a I meatball, may, a roll thank meatball. if I may, <laughs> I'd like to uh, I like to toast the chef because uh, not only is he the chef, here, here, here. he's my dear friend for many years. Delicious. And it's uh, cheers par excellence. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you very much. That's uh, very nice here. Delicious. And now I'm going to eat now. There's and nothing else. Steve wants to give a toast too? No, no toast. I just feel like holding my glass up for a while. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to look at Amarone. <laughs> mm. You know, it's nice, it's nice to be a bachelor too. Yeah. <laughs> I take the fifth. We'll tell Veronica that when you see it. <laughs> hey, this is, this is amongst the table here. It doesn't go any further than the table. You go along. What about the camera work? I'm going to charge the camera. If it's this privatization, be very careful. Danny, you know what they say about marriage? There's three rings to marry. What is it? There's the engagement ring, yeah. the wedding ring, right. and the suffering. I agree with that one. Wow. 